Uh, this is a prestige voice tutorial. Uh, programs you will need in this uh, tutorial or in this uh, prestige is the .NET Framework 1.1, which will be in the description also, so you can just click on the link and download it and install it. Oh, <coughs> as soon as you download it, install it. The next program you're gonna need is a PS3 proxy server. You just uh, go to this website, or it should automatically download. Uh, click on the link, download it, install it. You should have no problem after that. It shouldn't get no errors, so that should work fine. Uh, this website that I bring up here is from NGU Next Gen Update. It's where you get your prestige files. It's where I get my prestige files from, anyways. Um, sign up, join. You know, if you're not a member, it's a good site. You can prestige from 2 to 10 files there. Setting up PS3 proxy, um, you just want to go to my computer, your C drive. I'm running Vista, so I'm under Pro our program files x86. I'm looking for the file CF3B5. There it is. Double click it, double click on that. Uh, right click and send to my desktop. So I always like to have it on the desktop. Because I use it quite a bit. Close that out. Look for it on my desktop. There it is. Um, open it up. Just give it a double click. Open it up. Now I want to look for my IP address. We got to go to the little icon, Windows icon down at the bottom there. If you're running on Vista, start on the other programs. Double click on that. Click in the little search bar right there at the bottom. Type in CMD. It's a command prompt, so and then enter. It should bring up another screen. In that screen, you want to type in IP config, I P C O N F I G, like I do there. Hit enter. It'll bring up all these numbers. The only thing you're looking for is IP v4 address right there. See. Now you want to get those numbers and you want to put them in your PS3 proxy server and your PS3 under the proxy settings. So I remember that number. Mine is 192.168.100. Yours will be different depending on your modem or your router. Now I put that in here with that 192.168.0.100. Click on PS3 mode. I'm going to start it. Um, because I already have everything installed, you'll notice that this is all filled in. I always keep my row 1 filled in with the with all the information it's not gonna stop the game from working or anything or signing in so I keep that filled in row 2 I'll leave blank because once you put in row 2 then you'll get signed out when you play the game but now you want to go to your PS3 and you want to go to your settings then go down to network settings you want to go to internet connection settings Click OK. And then when this pops up, you want to go to Custom. Click on Wireless because I'm on Wireless. Wired if you're wired, you know, whatever. Scan usually. Find your router. Mine's D-Link. It's already there, so none. Automatic. DHCP you do not use. Automatic. Automatic for MTU. PS3. There's a proxy you want to. It's usually on Do Not Use. You want to put it to use. And then there you go. See, I told you you're gonna put that same number in as the address 192.168.0100, which is mine. Leave the port as 8080, which is good. And then you want to circle out of here. You don't want to test your connection. You don't want to test your connection. Um, my it all makes you start signing you in. So I just cancel it usually, and then I just sign in. It's just it'll keep trying to sign in if you don't. And then from here, I go to upload the files that I downloaded from the website. If you don't know how to put them on your flash drive, then uh, you shouldn't be doing this again. Um, once I got them, once I put them on my, my flash drive, I go to uh, Game Data here. I'll show you that I'm using version 1.7, 1.07. The update's still on my PS3. I go to my USB device where I have my files. I copy and paste them. Alright. 
And then you want to start your world at war. Or not world at war, sorry. Modern Warfare 2. Just click through this stuff. I just push to the right, tap it to the right, X, and then until I get to there. Go through all that. Uh, select multiplayer, continue to multiplayer. Not very hard, basic. Click play online. I always do this just to make sure. I always click play online and circle. I'll go to split screen. Load up your first file. Load. Enter the air file. Load it. Whatever. Wait for it to finish. You should get this error. Click OK or X. Go back to split screen. Click X. Click X again. Go to barracks. Now you want to go to prestige mode. Prestige it. Once you're done prestiging it, click X to get out of this error. Go to split screen again. Hit X. Then square. Load your file. You want to load the prestige. There, once it's done, it's load complete. Now you want to back out to split screen or the main menu. Go back to split screen. Hit X, square. Load your first file again. This is the way you load it the second time is the way you load it when you're doing the actual prestiging. Load it. Do not prestige it this time. Just go to land setting after you've done that. Now you want to go to change offline profile load then you want to load your prestige file this usually helps from the corrupted data uh, a lot of people get corrupted data this is what i use uh this is best used for ps3 proxy server i don't use the patch blocker so i wouldn't know anything about that now once you're done you just want to quit your game you loaded them you should have no corrupted data when you run it so once you're done the next thing you want to do is delete your uh, 1.07 update now just to show you that it's still on 1.07 there you go now I want to delete it get it the hell out of here click yes it's gone and you wait for that and then you go back and then you go back to your computer. Alright. You go back to your computer. There we go. Go back to your PC proxy. Now fill in row two. Copy and paste the first one, one of the first rows, and paste in the second row. That's all you need. You don't need 13 rows like everybody says. You just need the first two rows. Now we go back to the PS3. You must be really fast. Like it says, you only have 45 seconds. So practice, practice, practice. All right. As you see me go through all the steps here real quick. Well, I kind of slow made it a little slower so you guys can see, kind of see what I'm doing. If you don't get this fetching playlist right away and it just freezes and it, then it blinks after a while, just go down the split screen because it already loaded the playlist and everything. See, I load my first file, my air file like normal. Like I would go to barracks, prestige it, yeah, yeah. Then I, my second file, I go to LAN, change offline profile, load the prestige file. And once it's loaded, you back out, go to play online, go to barracks, prestige, enter prestige. When you, If you do it quick enough and good enough, you're done. And then you go back to your computer. All you delete is row two. Once you've done that, you just delete row 2, it signs you out, whatever. Delete row 2, and then go back to your PS3. Now, all you do is sign back in. It will allow you to sign back in. You could play through your PS3 proxy server all you want. It's not going to do anything. Um, Just go to play online. So there you go. Sign back in. Update. And that's all there is to it. So enjoy, guys. Uh, have fun. And there's my prestige tutorial. Thank you.